Okay, how we doing out there? What I'm doing today is uh, building up the relay board. I got these boards on uh, eBay. They have the correct diodes in them to work the relay so you can switch from in and out on the actuators. One side will be east-west, one side will be north-south. These wires will have to connect to the actuator wires north, south, east, west, however they end up power in and ground wire that's the wire negative positive from the battery I have to take these now, mount these inside the box I'm just going to hot glue them in then I'll have to take this out to the uh, Solar tracker punch the holes in their appropriate places, and then I have to bring in four wires through the side, probably, or the bottom, I haven't decided. And that would be these pins on the top here, if you can see them. These pins right there, that's where the uh, negative positive from each actuator goes. Same on that one, negative, positive. They run through these relays and then pick up power directly off the battery so you don't stress out the uh, solar track controller. And then I can control two dual axis solar trackers through this box with one controller. So that's my goal. That's where it is so far. I guess I'm going to uh, glue them in now take this out to the pole and see where I have to start drilling holes to make this uh, work. Alright, I'll be back when I have more to show. Okay, this is where the box is going to live. I'll pick up the power down there on those wires right here with the fuse block in it. And these uh, double red and black wires are going to operate the actuators. So, running out of daylight, this will be a job tomorrow, but that's where it's going. That will allow me to control two solar trackers with one controller. And uh, we're just about out of daylight. So there you have it. More to come tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, today is uh, Friday. It's about 11.20 a.m. Yesterday and uh, Wednesday, probably for about a total of nine hours, I messed around with these two solar trackers, installing these boxes. Let's see if I can get the little uh, bungee cord. Hold this for me. Probably not. Nope, it's a knot. Anyway, inside here are the relay boards. This side here is east-west. That's north-south. This relay pack here, I had in a bag inside of a box was marked 2010. I had two of these. Both of them weren't working properly. They had st sticky um, relays. Sorted them out, I got them working. I've got all the wires hooked up here with these uh, wire nuts. So if I ever have a problem, I can fix it. But the bottom line is now it's working. I have to drill a lot of holes and bring lots of wires in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set up the camera on the tripod and I'm going to come back over to the controller and put it in manual mode. Let's see if we can catch that. I can't really see my screen here. I can't tell if I'm catching this. Anyway, I'm going to move this to the east. Actually, I'm going to move it to the west so it doesn't crush me. You can see they're both moving. So there's one controller. It's doing both uh, trackers. Come back over here and stop it. Uh, 
I'll change my axis to uh, north-south. I'll now move it to the north. There they go. Now the, the angle is changing. Let's see if I can get a better shot on this way. Kind of worn out from walking out here on the bumpy ground and the hills. Nothing flat here. They're both going. Working really well. I'm going to let these go up flat, then I'm going to take you over to that one and I'll show you the inside of that uh, combiner burger box and how that turned out. So I'll just walk over there because they, they'll stop automatically. This here is my box that I built. I finished it yesterday, I don't know, about 5 o'clock. I got all my leads coming in. I still got the zip ties kind of loose, make sure this, this is where I want it. It's working great. Under load, these panels are bringing in about 125 volts, which is great. So when this goes flat, it'll stop automatically. And again, I apologize, I can't see my screen on my camera here. All right, stopped. So anyway, this is the outside of the box. Two positives coming in. This is a combined negative coming in the side. We got the uh, east-west actuator here, north-south actuator here, and inside, Again, I have them labeled and I've got them with the wire ties so I can take them apart if need be. And there's my two 15 amp circuit breakers. And they go down through this tube, obviously. So that worked out really well. These glands are all nice and tight. The water getting in. All right, I'm gonna walk back over here and put this to automatic and it should return where it needs to be. Need to wash these panels, they're filthy. This time of the year here, I'm only using about 10% of my battery bank. Okay, so here it says moving north stop. Click that off. Put it back to automatic. go back to the east first as it's attempting to do it's going to find itself now it's going to go south it's hard to film this by myself you can see both of them are moving to the south This took quite a while to make all the adjustments on the actuators and get them within five degrees of each other. That one there is on the pole. It's up about seven and a half feet because those panels are so huge. They're over 13 feet tall. And then this one is a 60 cell setup, not as tall, but it runs into the hill. So there was a lot of walking back and forth, adjusting everything. Can't believe it took me uh, almost three days So when it finds its position in the south, it'll go back, my guess is to the east where it was. I was gonna do a high wind parking demonstration for you. You can hear that one's still going. There it is, it's reached its limit. This one should kick back over. My little blower I have, even with the pipe on it, doesn't have enough volume of air to spin that fast enough. But in the evening, when it's down all the way on the ground, I am able to spin that um, animator up there, anemometer, and they will park. So that does work. I just can't demonstrate it at the moment. <coughs> I 
and this is probably going to go through a couple of series of tracking before it comes back to the east where it belongs. There it goes, just like I said. This unit's been fantastic. The support here from LPC, Laser Precision Crafts, Solar Tracker has been fantastic. If you have a problem, you actually get to call Dave. He picks up the phone, walks you through it, and, and fixes it. And then after you shut all this down and turn it back on, it's not uncommon for this to do this walking back and forth deal. See that one over there is still moving. I don't know if you can hear it. The adjustments are a little bit different on that one due to height constraints. So it's going all the way south and it'll stop. There it goes. And then after a certain amount of time, this will recalculate and, and set them perfectly. So anyway, that's the deal. That's the relay box I was working on, which now works. This relay thing drove me crazy. One minute would work, one minute it wouldn't. The relays were sticky. I had two of them. And between the both of them, I got it working again. They were brand new in the back, but they were almost a decade old. So that's it. Another little snafu here was, I didn't realize this was going to hit this wire. I got the heat gun out last night and bent that over. And this one here hits the box. But one of them's closed. That's good enough. So that's the update. We're up and running. And I can move on to another project. So that's the Solar Tracker combiner um, repeater. Two Solar Trackers with one control box. Working like a champ. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. And that's it. I'm out.